bit of a warning, this is a terrible story. Normally I like to keep things light on this channel, but two of the most important topics that I like to talk about are secularism and women's rights. And there's a story out right now that combines both of those things in a way that I think perfectly illustrates why the world needs to stand up and recognize the serious problem of extreme religion and how it can negatively impact the lives of women. Uh, two weeks ago, in a northeastern part of Nigeria, 234 girls were abducted from school. We only know what happened because about 30 girls managed to escape, but the rest of them were loaded onto trucks and taken away at gunpoint by men who murdered their guards. This is assumed to be the work of a group called Boko Haram, a Muslim extremist sect that hopes to establish an Islamic state and rule by Sharia law. Their name, in fact, actually means more or less Western education is sinful. And so one of the ways that they enact their terrorist agenda is to murder uh, school children, teachers, in this case, abducting these girls as they were about to take a physics class and possibly use them as sex slaves. The local Muslim population is unsupportive of Boko Haram. And in fact, the group has assassinated Muslim clerics just for being critical of it. But unfortunately, the Nigerian government doesn't really seem to be doing anything to stop the group. In fact, they're doing less than nothing. Uh, at one point, they announced that all of the abducted girls had been rescued, which in fact was a complete lie that the parents of the girls had to uh, debunk in the media. And instead of the Nigerian army actually trying to locate the girls, the parents have been spending their own money hiring motorcycles and trucks to go out into the forest to try to find them, but they're not having any luck. How do more than 200 girls, plus all of the soldiers and the trucks required to take them, just disappear? It's it's amazing. Like If, if 200 girls were abducted from their physics class in the United States, then the world would not rest until they were found. But Nigeria is far away from the media's cameras. So a lot of people don't know about this story and the media doesn't really seem to be reporting on it in the same way that they might if these were white girls in a Western nation. So that's one of the ways that you can help. Uh, this is the kind of thing that can be helped by international awareness because more awareness leads to more pressure. We've seen this in other cases like with uh, Pussy Riot being released from prison or Alexander Ahn. Uh, these are cases where the local government would prefer to just suppress what's happening and move on with their lives. But if enough people from the international community start recognizing what's going on and start agitating for them to do something, then the government needs to step up. So one of the ways that you can help, there is a change.org petition started by a Nigerian woman who's currently living in Germany. You can sign that. You can also go on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and whatnot. Use the hashtags help the girls or bring back our daughters. I know it doesn't seem like much, but we have seen these sorts of campaigns work in the past. When we apply enough pressure to these governments, they're forced to do something. So please go out there, share the links that you can find in the doobly-doo, and help make a difference.